Nah, dude, you Welcome shouldn't back do to that. the Comedy Store no, Doorcast. I, I am your host, Luke this Schwartz. Is, I don't know if uh, we story. have a really good group of <laughs> door guys with us today. It's a little Lucy, it's a little Brucey in here today. I love it. Lucy Brucey. I, I uh, yes. Uh, shout out Thurster Beer, the yeah. best beer. Uh, we're sponsored by Thurster as sponsored always. Sponsored by whatever vendor and, uh, got beefing with this. Welcome. Week. We may or may not have a free show every Wednesday anymore. Nah, we don't. And so that's pretty uh, <laughs> uh, disappointing is a word for it. Um, I I'm your it? host, Luke Schwartz. Uh, to my left, we have Bruce Gray. Uh, across from him, we got Morgan Mizell. What's up? And then uh, we also got Joel Jimenez next to him. Yeah. And we are, we are, it's really a mood in here. Hi, Tony in the booth. And uh, shout out everybody. Um, Wait, so, they, they got rid of the show? Uh, they would like to get rid of all the door guys if possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we seem unnecessary, even though I don't know. Uh, but the totally show's good. gone. They're show's hit, gone. Hey, it's an artist colony, and <laughs> the inmates run the asylum. Yeah. But you're not allowed to go up to do comedy. Nope. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, is which is cool. Uh, shout out everyone who tips at the door. Uh, Big Bad Brad's been around, and Mike Z, thank you, and Shannon. Uh, yeah, Gino let's give a shout out to Diablos wait, wait. for one dollar. I already got him. Don't worry about that. <laughs> You're ruining my <laughs> the devil. Last week. The devil is yeah, no dollar devils. on there. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh. Sarah Silverman dropped a hundred bucks on the tip. Bucket. Shut up. That's so, pretty cool. What the foot? Wow. Really? Yes. Wow. So shout out Sarah for and she, yeah. I hosted on Monday and she stopped by and I got to bring her up for twenty minutes. That was pretty fun. We're at in the in the OR. In the yeah. OR for potluck. Yeah. Wow. So Mondays, you know. Even uh, though apparently there was a suicide bomber who tried to rush the stage while she was there. Isn't that what happened? That's the story I got after 10 different versions of it passed through different people. Who told you that, Bricks? Uh, no, originally it was somebody stopped by to see her and uh, wanted to go backstage, and then by the time it went through 10 other people, it's that there was a suicide bomber grabbed her on stage and said, if you make one move, I'm going to blow yeah. this whole building up. You said so, the story got blown out of Story got blown <laughs> out of the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's okay, a terrible God. game. But, uh, yeah. And then from also, we got two people from London, Daisy Lane and Jack Hooper, which sound like fake names. They they sound sound like those are fake London. British yeah. names. Yeah. Fake British yeah. names. Yeah. Like if it's you... Jack Hooper and Daisy <laughs> Lane. Daisy Lane is in my... Uh, that sounds like two people pretending that. to be British. I'm yeah. like, mate, we would go put a pound in the in oh. the jar. So like the, East Side people from there's in a, the nip here. There's an Improv. asterisk on this. It was someone wrote uh, some door guy. They were a couple, and the GF put both names for ten bucks each. After the boyfriend tipped twenty dollars, I am drunk. Couple of what? That mm. uh, the door guy wrote, I'm drunk. Yeah. Good. Uh, I don't think so. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's maybe get a whole, maybe new, the, yeah. whole new crop of we'll people. Say it was in. the boyfriend, not someone else operating the pen. Mm. Um, Which is actually mightier than the sword. We might have. Uh, well, uh, the pa <laughs> we might have three new hires, and it was a long week. How was your week? Everybody have a good week? Yeah, I had a long fucking week. Five days in a row. Now we're back hosting Potluck. I truly You're hosting felt... hosting tonight, yeah. I truly felt the inmates running the asylum thing, like, probably the last two days of the five, where it just... One night I showed up, and I was like, it's already weird. It's gonna be fucking just a weird night. Oh, oh yes. is that when I was trying to fucking... Get That's where you up. called me on my way over here, and I was yeah, like, dude, I was uh, doing the Luke. I was, I was trying to run both rooms at the same time. I mean, it's fine. It worked <laughs> out, but, uh, <laughs> but at well, not running either. <laughs> no, and then no, and then once everything was running smoothly, you know, people had better ideas, and so I let everything fall to shit. But just at the end of the night, I was, you know, <laughs> no, no, that part was that was gotcha. the Bruce. Yeah, that was no Luke. <laughs> that was Brucey, me being baby. like, you guys got a better idea. That was like angry dad gonna go drink in the garage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Type energy. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you guys have felt this, but like at the end of the night, it feels like you've been here a week in one night. Mm -hmm. One day is one week. It's and fucking trippy, three nights though. is uh yeah time uh, bands. Three nights like, is a year. Three nights is a month. Yeah. I would say three nights is like three or four nights is a month here. It's really like a lot happens in two days where two decisions get made and one gets reversed, mm -hmm. and then you catch up on the you have two <laughs> days off, and yeah. then suddenly your workplace is half different. <laughs> and then they're yeah, not allowed yeah. to do this anymore. I guess we don't have bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, and then there's, <laughs> there's new with... rules, uh, and you have to learn the new rules, and then by the end of the night, the new rule doesn't apply yeah. anymore. And if you break that rule, <laughs> boy, are you in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Why is anybody yeah. using the stairs? <laughs> it's not allowed to take one stair at a time. I've been saying, ever since Reverse. I started working here, I said take two stairs at a time, save some fucking time. If, it, if I see any Everybody, take, take it one stair at a time. The fight on the spot. That's Call the, me gay, uh, also. Yeah. 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 Hey, Joel, look at that shirt. Hey, hey, look at that shirt too, huh? <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> I am jealous of your shirt. Thank you. I wish I could wear a vertical or a horizontal stripe and not look fat. You you can pull it off. You could do whatever you want. You think you could do it with the shirt over like yeah, this? Yeah, I say the shirt over would be Maybe good. the shirt over would do it. Because it kind of slims the, you know. If I wear just a shirt like that, I look like mama's proud little boy. You have like Rockwell face. That's why. <laughs> Rock, Norman Rockwell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like you have like a Coke. You know, you're sitting at, you got like the, the fucking. The diner, yeah. yeah. I look American. Yeah. Oh, they wouldn't have let you in those diners though either because you're Luke, the, you know what uh, you, you do dress like is like Good. yeah you dress like a vietnam vet but with the clothes the original clothes by the time the vietnam vet gets them they've gone through five or six people dude this could be in a you know like, like, like this is a good vietnam vet shirt but it would be kind of sure. worn a little bit like he would have sure. got it from a thrift oh. shop or so it's the new yeah it's like, the new ver he got like, it from a the first that day of vietnam, yeah, 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 yeah. Got it like repaired. chic mm -hmm. vietnam vet it's an updated vietnam vet yeah 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 Mm -hmm. On the Vietnamese side or uh, uh, no, American on the American like yeah. Sam Stone, are you familiar? Uh, from the John the song. Prine song, yeah, 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 yeah. You dress like Sam Stone. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow, that's for the heroin addict. Yeah, song. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I know music. So wow, nice. that's tight. I was pretty proud of myself there. Everyone's got good hats today. I'm proud of everybody here today. It's good really, job, guys. It's nice. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. How was your week, Morgan? In the back. Uh, <laughs> Morgan, Morgan as a server. The last night I worked was Friday, and I went to a music festival all weekend. Mm -hmm. But uh, there was a lot of beef going on in the back surrounding pizza. Oh, really? Yeah, someone ordered a pie of peach, then someone ate a slice, and it wasn't for them. And mm. this was between all the servers? Yeah. Oh, so. that must have been where they were when customers were begging yeah. for drinks. Yeah, yeah, in the back <laughs> arguing about pizza. pizza. My pizza. <laughs> That's my pizza, bitch! It's just the entire, for like four hours, servers, I, I, I customers like, so where's my servers? We can't put people in certain parts of the room beca because it's loud. I can't put old people near the back yeah. door I, because of you and everybody else in there. Don't say me, because I'm usually the one telling them to be quiet. But you're yelling, be quiet. That's fair. You yell hey. a lot, and you also go, I don't know. And you go, that's fair a lot. You reconsider wow. things, but I like that. It's a very good characteristic of like thinking about it. Always shit. thinking. Good. 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 <laughs> yeah, I was back this week. I was gone for two entire weeks, and then the first day I got back uh, was like, man. I felt like I was here the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, when you're yeah, in the group right message. Right back to it. When you're in the group message like that, it'll it'll keep you in the Oh, in yeah. The, no, I got back, mode. and immediately as I walked in, there's just got a big dump taken in my mouth, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> We're back, baby. You know, not to downplay what the military does or what being in the Army is like, but... It's there is a weird like trauma bonding camaraderie oh, that absolutely. happens here. I haven't Easily. been here that long, but it's just like... Um, we're the mafia, basically. I, I mean, I yeah. like to say that. And this place is haunted. Yeah. We're like great fellas. We're like unorganized <laughs> crime. You guys are crushing it. Yeah. <laughs> Asterisk. Big shout out to yeah, uh, from Diablo. Uh, Jacob, $20. Yeah. Enzo, $50. Yeah. Shane, Shannon. Simon Dublin. Okay. That's a fake name. Yep. Simon from That's Dublin. worse than Daisy Lane. It's, it's from are City. Serial killers, honestly. Okay. Come hey, in here hey Bruce, do you remember when you were White Bruce? Uh, I do remember when, when I was White Bruce, and here? I do remember Black Bruce, who turned out to be uh, bad, Bruce. bad Bruce. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there Bruce was a guy, Bruce. a uh, African American gentleman who worked here when I black. first started. Um, no, you know, I want to be. It was a person, African -American of, a person of color. Anymore. Uh, <laughs> You know what's crazy about like stuff where mm. people try to clean up stuff like that is that with the what's weird? the wrong tone, it could be worse than anything else. Yeah, like you could be like fucking person of color. Well, if you're whispering it, it <laughs> yeah, sounds yeah. bad. Like you say the you black. Black. <laughs> anything good through your teeth. <laughs> yeah. The fucking LGBTQIA, <laughs> that kind of thing. Whoa. Yeah. What's I'm the just... INA stand for? The that? INA Iowa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's why Lucas gets so many spots is because he's. Uh, <laughs> What if like he for? Is our IMA. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's IA plus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was gonna try to do a bit right now, but it, the moment has passed. All right, back to you. Lucas Hurl's been opening a bunch more, and it's been mostly very good. It's cool. nice to see. Oh yeah. 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 Opening spots. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do a. I need headphones. If I'm gonna try to do an impression. You, yeah. The there, segment is impressions that don't travel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Impressions that don't travel. I'm crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Jesus Trejo, man. I love the podcast. That's a, That's another. That's yeah. a new one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not great. <laughs> I'm working a lot. Oh, God. Hey, I'm look gonna, me in the eye while you do. They're not all gonna be yeah. Argus and Dean. All right, dude. Hey, I got a fucking. Cut well, that some, out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't ruin my don't ruin my cover here. <laughs> uh, I uh, God, I had so many people come in and just ask that. I had a night that was just hard from start to finish, just working. And you're, you know, I get there early and set up the room and try to have a good vibe. And then 
It's just it's just when there's three toxic groups in the whole room. Yeah. Get, like speaking in the of uh, hard from start to finish, <sighs> Blue Chew. If you use our uh, code discount code, um, Luke, up next showcase. Up next showcase. You'll you can have a boner up too. Up next showcase. <laughs> one two three at boner dot. Dude, the ads for uh, when you listen to this podcast, the ads are so funny because <laughs> yeah, be, it'll like, be like, and zone, dude, it went like straight weird. down. I, I was just walking down the All stairs, right. and then it just cuts so hard. It's like oh oh O'Reilly. <laughs> Like it's oh, a little shot. Or it's like, to get the McDonald's. It's like yeah. a McDonald's commercial in Spanish. Like it's just really good. Not, Dude, it's it's that like you spin rules. a big wheel and it's like, this is the ad this week. Dude, yeah. you ever yeah. seen the, the Don't the, forget Thurster. The For Hers commercial? For Hers? Yeah, you know For Hims where it's all like, yeah. you're losing your hair and your dick's off? Yeah. So For Hers is like, you're really, really sad. Like it's all like, uh, whatchamacallit, like Xanax and shit. That's all they're selling to the women. I heard they're that shit bums you out. different, what? Hims. I heard if you take hymns, you'll like want to kill yourself. Oh, bums you out even well, more. Being soft and <laughs> cool. not having hair. They're not a, they're not a sponsor. No, Rogaine, you mean? No, I've heard that for hymns. Well, and... it's the same shit that for yeah, the yeah. hair stuff. I've yeah, heard I've that heard it'll, it'll like, fucking... make you super depressed. Yeah, that's what I've heard. What makes yeah. you more depressed, having no hair or your dick not working? I don't know. Or whatever. I'm actually I mean... the authority on this. Ooh. I think uh... hair, you just you just you knew when. It's lo- I'm losing it. Yeah, you knew when to like. Go but I'm also not. What did it look like? If I had hair, yeah. I used to have long ass hair down the here. I mean, Whoa. I don't know. It looked like me like, with uh, hair. I have some what's imagination. His name? Who? Damn, who looks like that? Who's the micro? Kenny Lyon. Yeah, and him, and him too. But I was thinking, uh, yeah, Jez- Velasquez, Jesse Velasquez. Yeah, I guess so. Mine yeah. was really straight. His, his is like pretty long, and yeah, I guess this is kind of way. Mine was really straight and straight thin. Down. So when I would like straight. braid it, it would just be like tiny little braids, <laughs> and that's like my whole hair. But even yeah. if you are losing, you look your hair, like though. Josh Martin with his <laughs> braids. <laughs> it plays well because all the tattoos. And... Yeah, I might tattoo my head at some point, the back of it. We'll what see. are you gonna put on there? I don't Probably know. Store logo. Yeah. Bathroom. Bathroom. This way. Up the showcase every Wednesday. Hecklers will be asked to leave. I put that above my butthole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Luke, it's so nice Luke to check see you. Check mark on the back of the head. head. Hell yeah. 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 Put it on hey, my honors, dick. Honors, honors my roots. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Don't say roots. Come on. All right. Back to you. <laughs> He's nervous about his hair. Yeah, dude, don't talk about his roots. Hey. Come on. Thanks for bringing it back. Uh, yeah. Oh, hard we, hard, so a hard show all the way through is just when three groups of people will come in and decide that they're not having a good night. Yeah. The uh, customers or the, yeah. or the and employees? And it can really, there are sometimes a bad crowd. And like if the piano player doesn't introduce the first comic and then the opening comic has a bad set mm. and then the opener is can be hit or miss, then it can be a tough night in the OR. Uphill. Oh, from B- both the beginning, ways. yeah, yeah, fuck. You could feel it too for like the first hour or so. It, and then, and, but people, I mean, people buy drinks, and usually a headliner somewhere in the middle can get it back a little bit for thirty minutes, maybe. Yeah. Well, crowds suck ass before they have their drinks. Before there's a, if you're at a comedy show, comedy club, especially like the people who come in here, where a lot of time they're not like versed in like comedy so a lot of people are but yeah. a lot of people come in here and they're very anxious because they're yeah. at a comedy club mm-hmm. and they're like this, and they know they're the at this comedy one. club yeah. and especially like if they're in the front few rows they're like so fucking nervous and then as soon as the drink touches their table they're like oh okay like as yeah. soon as they have one sip of a drink they're like oh this is fun slapping oh, knees and shit yeah you're right I've watched it that's why all the opening sets in the main room they they're like work because everybody's like they're just like looking around, waiting so for their drink. There's like, eight conversations going yeah. on. No, the, yeah. whenever you do a cold open here, especially your job mm. is to introduce people to the idea of stand up comedy. Yeah, it's not to go out and crush because yeah. like mm-hmm. sometimes you will, sometimes you have a great set, but a lot of times you're just like, hey, this is what's going to happen the entire night. 100%. You could go up on stage and literally just stand there and speak in fucking tongues. Yeah, and nobody's going to notice anything because they're going to be like, oh yeah, this guy's talking into a microphone. Remember that, Tony? For Aaron. the next time you intro someone, don't just say like. This person, Alex Hanna. No, no dude, you got to study. Just laid it out, like, it's like when you like... Uh, get a goldfish and you have to put it in the water with the bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's Shout like to Tony though. He's been crushing. Good. He's, uh, what do you play on Saturday or Friday night before the second show? Just like four Run the Jewels tracks. Oh, that's just good. completely different mm-hmm. energy than normally yeah. when you got the. Yeah, just, that racist. Dude, if you want to learn intros, you got to study Danny, and you also the biggest, the best intros and the best mic checks in the game is fucking Anthony Drinkwater, dude. Oh Legendary, man. Legendary uh, uh, intros and mic checks. He sounds like an SSX tricky announcer. <laughs> He goes, he goes up there and yeah. he's like, check one, two, yeah. Yeah. Check one, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. You can do better than that, comedy store. Yeah. Uh, D- Danny goes, 
check. He does yeah. that in his mind. He's check. And he's up there and he's and also Danny. he's also going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very Damn. good. Danny's an awesome. He's he, the coolest dude. He but he, the whole he's stage a guy that you could oh do an impression God. of without saying one word. Mm-hmm. You could just go. <laughs> that makes him even cooler, I think. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. Honestly. Anthony Drinkwater is like a phenomenal drummer also. Is like, he? Yeah. I've, heard, I've heard that. I've I've heard heard that. My dad musician. was a musician mm-hmm. and uh, he plays with him, but he's like... One time we like battled, he did like the drum battle thing on Kill Tony. Oh. And it was like. Run for your money. Yeah. If I didn't have a huge dildo and like fucking. You had to do the flip. Crazy yeah. shit, I would have <laughs> lost. Have you ever He's played just... the drums with your Peter? Yeah. Oh, for sure. That's what's up. Not my real dick. Oh, but... no. That's why I said your Peter. Yeah. 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 I've hit the cymbals with it. With I've your sucked dick. my own dick yeah. on stage. I mean, not yeah. suck it. Maybe hit the cymbal and then smell it. I mean, the dildo. <laughs> I had a big purple dildo. No, that I'm talking about, about your talking dick. About your dick. Uh, Your penis. Yeah, you had to have just been no, around the drum set and be like, T-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t. No, I don't think so. That's I have slammed it on a table before, but. Oh, I thought you were going to say drum. you slammed it between the hi hat. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be tight. That's yeah. the only way you got to put it between the. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it, bitch! You <laughs> that's the only way you could get it. <laughs> ah, you better fucking stomp it. Stomp it hard like you yeah. never have. And then you I put play your, four hymns. Put symbols. the kick drum into your ass. And you <laughs> I did stick that. my head in a bass drum when I was 17 while my friends were like practicing. We were That explains a lot. Yeah. Well, my ears are. My ears are fucked from from drumming and i think specifically from that moment my friend's dad had like a cell phone store where like in the morning they would practice there and we'd go drink bacardi orange like as dumb teenagers <laughs> i think that's part at, of the like, issue 8 a.m yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they were, but no, no no but they were playing like calm, rock, like fucking rocking out and i stick my head in the bass drum like a dummy doing this shit and then now i'm like fuck i can't hear a lot yeah i just bought sick ass earplugs i was gonna so say I'm do you wear earplugs with your i just started uh, eargasm if you want to sponsor me i love these things they're high fidelity earplugs nice little thing so i won't lose them but uh most earplugs like when you put them in, they uh, and this isn't Doorcast shit, and you guys look bored, but uh, I'm, I'm very uh, honestly, bored. it's just nice. It uh, <laughs> it's it sounds like you're underwater, <laughs> like if you're you, always no, like you're everything's saying. muffled, and I like to hear like the crack of the snare drum, so I always take them out. But these, you hear all the like frequencies just at a lower level, so it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did my first concert with earplugs this weekend, and. I get it. What it's kind did you use? The foam one? You can also hide it. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. In, in Old your head long mode, activated. No, get I these. At, I was at the show and I was talking to my homegirl and she was like, she couldn't hear me. And I was mm. like, what the fuck? And then she like took out her earplugs. And I was yeah. like, oh, you have earplugs? She's like, yeah, I got an extra pair. You want them? So much better. What kind wow. though? Like cheap? Like, no, they're like cheap ones. Yeah. Like it was like the first cheap time I've actually, I'm just ones. standing in front of a speaker with earplugs. I, I think if you go to a lot of concerts at our age now, these are like totally worth Just look up high fidelity earplugs. I agree. I went to a Rock the Bells in San Bernardino. and I was out I, I saw a ball. Uh, it was when Rage and Wu Tang played. Oh, had, sick! Yeah, had, you got a great show. Damn. Uh, I, I had, I'm wearing this, and I had to go. Nice. Uh, but I saw a dude with uh, weed stuffed in his ears. Yeah. He had like like that's that how makes he had music. smuggled it in. Dude, it makes <laughs> music <laughs> so much better, bro. <laughs> <laughs> makes sex better. The sound it all yeah. so better, dude. Uh, and Brooks. he was go, he was asking people, he was like, hey, if you got a pipe, I got some weed. Because like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your ear, bro? I got yeah. 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 It, it was right. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. Like, has weed. Yeah. Yeah. You can keep that in your ears, bud. Is that the first time you met Frank Castillo? It was his dad. Yeah. Shout out to Frank and his dad. In Mel Brooks. Double Frank. Frank I was friends Frank. with his dad on Facebook first before I was with Frank. Wow. So I thought it was just, yeah, just at Frank. His dad, doesn't his dad like post like friends. grocery store drama on there? Yeah, it's, his dad's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> I said, bitch, I know where the fuck's going across you the tell, You can tell that that's uh, his song. I'm friends with a couple <laughs> friends' dads. Yeah. <laughs> my dad on Facebook is legend. He doesn't, my dad can be told the same thing over and over, but he's legendary for like answering those questions on Facebook. Do you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, what was the first concert you went to? And it's <laughs> like 300,000 oh, yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And my dad would be like, would literally re- reply and be like, I went and saw. Alan Jackson and I got my dick sucked. And he's like, <laughs> doesn't realize that it shows up to everybody's thing, and he's constantly posting the funny like shit. He does. He I tell him over and over, and he's like, he doesn't. It's insanity. It's like it's you know, grandma could see this. Yeah, it's just nuts. He'll post shit all the time. Like, <laughs> do you? Have, does anyone ever like them? Yeah. I would like. I them. never oh, wanted a oh, son. Yeah. Yeah. I see them all the time. I'm trying to think of like examples. I post them on Instagram all the time. But it's like, if your ex-wife was on fire, would you put her out? And he's like, yeah, with my piss. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, yeah. He literally just doesn't understand that everybody fucking sees this. And we tell him uh, over and over, and he doesn't. 
Come oh, on. Cute. Unbelievable. Uh, the, I, this, the, we moved on already from the topic, but I have to do it or else I'll fucking die. Uh, I read Mel Brooks's book recently. He said in World War II, like, they gave them exactly. shitty earplugs when they were running cannons, but they didn't work. So what the soldiers would do is get a cigarette, break it in half, roll them up, and stick those in their ears. And that was, like, the weed guy. All right, yeah. moving on. Yeah, that's Brian Scalaro. He does that. <laughs> <laughs> I like Brian Scalaro, but man, yeah. does he love cigarettes? <laughs> I don't even know who, who is married that. To Maybe cigarettes. by face. He's great. You know, he's, he's good. Hey, he's a very uh, funny comic. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely got a Scalaro, don't you? Huh? You could do a Scalaro, can't you? Scalaro, bro. Um, he is doing right yeah. do that. Yeah, let me see. Uh, <laughs> it's really kind of low like this. Just go. Yeah. <laughs> it, Brian Scalaro is uh, what, you, what you have when your mom says you have Joey Diaz at home. We don't need to go <laughs> out yeah. and see Joey Diaz. We, you have Joey Diaz at home. Like, we got Joey Diaz at home. Like you go Joey home Diaz and Scalaro is ripping the butt. Fuck, now I want to see this guy. All right, never mind. He's a good guy. I like him. All right, guys, uh, it's been fun. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Uh, we'll be back for part two. Before we wrap up. It could be like five time. minutes. I left my phone we're, in we're probably at 15, something like that. It's Tony, what good. are we at? 21. Oh, good hey, God. Legal. Let's, uh, let's just do the same shit we did two more times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shout out, uh, shout <laughs> shout out, out to uh, Diablos. <laughs> Raccoon Tweeties for always shouting us out. That's so. Yeah, they do shout you out a lot. Um, we got, yeah, I went to, uh, speaking of shout outs, uh, actually, fuck Raccoon Tweeties. I saw Cooney the other day and I yelled his name. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're at war with him because yeah. you better be. Well, I just, I was like, Cooney, 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 nothing. Just that kept was walking. Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? He looks like, uh, Bill Burr Baggins. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Good. You Bill Burlington got... Code Factory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. You got crushed. Roast, honestly, the funniest Tony ever oh, did. Mike <laughs> roast. Nice. Uh, good off timing. Mic. Uh, <laughs> off mic. Great timing. Uh, roast. The sound booth has changed you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Dude, what a glow up, huh? Yeah. From the kitchen to the podcast studio to the sound booth. Mm-hmm. We're going to be running this place in no time. <laughs> Not, and next thing you know, you're going to be an assistant manager. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> next thing you know, you're, you're going to be the next Sam. Sam. Yeah. Show. yeah, you're the next Sam. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Tony! <laughs> come in here and tell him what I told you! <laughs> Tony comes in and he's just like, <laughs> hey, boss! Yeah, yeah, he's wearing no. shiny suits. Yeah. Tony. You're in a, to- a Toyota, but you put a Tesla logo on the front, and plug it into the wall for some reason. <laughs> you plug a Toyota <laughs> into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he's <been> spitting. Everywhere! <laughs> it's insane! Yeah. Was spit- and I go, uh, are you okay? He goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! You never spit before? One of the least COVID friendly individuals you could ever be It's just like, oh, okay. Yeah, you never spit on it. Dying in front of him. Dog, he came in last Monday and I asked him to print menus and he was just, he started freaking out. I was like, what? He goes, I buy this new printer. I leave it here all weekend. No one does nothing with it. You know, it was a test. I just put it here to see if anyone put it up. I was like, so you didn't give him any instructions or anything? He's like, no, I wanted to see if he took initiative and did it. And I was like, well, you wanted us to. I didn't want a new printer. You wanted us to (laughs) open a box. The printer works fine. (laughs) But like, so what does he, but the, so a manager would want us to test out the printer he would want us to hook up and yeah, plug it into the wall or is it in the it? box yeah, it's it's in still box. in the box yeah brand new what box the just fuck? sitting there no yeah. sign or nothing uh, oh he, I, he should be glad it's still there yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what are you talking I, yeah, about i left a thousand dollars cash yeah. Yeah. nobody took it no one letterman's on stage on she's store. like i just got a new printer <laughs> Who's uh, this? Annie Letterman. <laughs> Feels the printer. Yeah, dude. I, a few she, weeks, yeah, right I before thought Shipley I, uh, was giving it away backstage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right before I went to Portland, I was working in, I was working with you. I don't remember if we talked about this or not on the podcast. We're in the original room and it's completely sold out. And Richie comes in and he's like, Oh, jeez. Oh, God. He comes in, comes in, the, comes in there. Who's sitting in the back? <laughs> I was like, In the back of what? He's like, In the back of the room, on the bench. And I was like, Those are customers. He's like, I don't want nobody sitting there. <laughs> and I was like, so you don't want anybody sitting on the bench. The the bench that was when I started when, when I started was tables and then we put a, a nice bench back there. You ne- he's like, I never I never I, I never wanted people on that bench. So on the place bench. we sell tickets for, you don't Le- want them there. Literally you know? uh, the job of a bench yeah. is arguably to be sat <laughs> upon. On. For what sure. What are you doing on stage? Uh, comedy. I want no comedy. <laughs> nobody should be talking into a microphone in this building. Nobody. Uh, <laughs> all, right, all right. So what do you want? Get him off. <laughs> Who is that? That's Bill Burr. Who is that? That's, that's Bill Burr. And he goes, I know. I walked him. In. Yeah. I don't like the way he's looking. He was, I don't like the way he parked his car. 
Well, I was. I don't like that. I was like, all right. What do you want me to do? Like, uh, keep doing. Keep doing exactly what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good talk, bud. They, 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 they were yeah, yelling. Uh, it's like the audacity. Like he's just so disgusted that someone would be sitting on a bench that uh, we saw yeah. a ticket for. I don't know uh, why either, but Richie, can't believe it. Richie sees me as this like <laughs> his like vessel where he'll like. Go to the door, guys, and be like, I don't want nobody <laughs> wearing shoes in the building. And I'll be, everyone's like, okay. And then he'll be like, Bruce, 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 Bruce come, here. come here. Come here. Yeah. Dude, come, here. Come, come here. Come here real quick. And he'll close the office door and be like, tell everybody, tell everybody it's cool that they wear shoes. <laughs> Just make sure, just make sure they're tied. I'm like, all right, I, all right, okay, Richie. And you need to tell everybody, and not your little group chat either. They need you to tell them face to face. Yeah, right. He has told me. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. Really and if the right. shoes are Velcro, oh, they're yeah. gay. Yeah. yeah. The, literally, the last thing I want here is any oh, responsibility. And Richie oh. will, and he'll do that, and then he'll fucking like the other dude. The other the night, last thing you want like, is any responsibility. <laughs> the other night, the <laughs> other night, the other night, the, the Maz special, and fucking understaff. Yeah. I'm planning to run the room with me doing the front. Entire front, and then Cooper sitting one person, yeah. and then finally somebody shows up. They're like, "I didn't know it was even uh, what time." Well, I'm running on different time. I'm in yeah. a different universe, and then comes in, and it goes super smooth, like crush it. All of this, and then the second show, we're doing the same thing. And, like it's just the show started late, so the lines out front. The show. First show ended late. Second show starting late. The line out front is too big. Somebody from the West Hollywood city comes over, bitches at them. So then in turn he goes, "You guys need to you push. like." I'm like, we literally are doing the exact same thing. with the thing that 30 minutes ago you said you were so happy about. <laughs> we're doing the same thing. And then he goes nuts, f- switch it up. I'm like, whatever, fix it. And then I go in the back. He's like, Bruce, come here. Reaches above the bar. The high, I've never seen anyone reach this high behind the bar. And pulls out like this bottle of tequila. He's like, you know, this is what Chappelle drinks. He's like, you want a shot? And I'm like, sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I sure. Guess, man. And then yeah. Kelly gets here. My girlfriend gets here, and she, he's like, what's up? And he's like, it <laughs> is really too good. That was a little. <laughs> what's up? And then he goes, what's up? And then he goes, you know, you, you should. Bruce did a great job tonight. You should be proud of him. And I was like, what? Did you, did, did, what? And then she would, and then of course, walk away. He's like, even though he's gay, no. <laughs> and she's like, who is that? Yeah, that's, that's my, my boss. boss. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's, uh, it's, oh I, tell you, I, I play golf with him, and he is a entirely different person. He, oh, you didn't see my ball? It's in the hole. <laughs> no. He cheats. No, it was in my pocket the whole time. No, 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 no. How, how many strokes per round would you say he cheats? A, a couple. Yeah. But <laughs> I didn't kick here and there, slip. here and there. But he doesn't make a. He he hits the ball terrible, and he goes, Ah, what are you gonna do? He hits the ball fucking terrible. He goes, Ah, that's golf. It's a beautiful day. I go, Who the fuck? Wait, so you have patience? You have patience playing golf, but not when people are sitting in the seats that they paid money for. <laughs> there is a thing I when go, you're I, clocked I, in that changes you here, you know. Damn. I mean, damn, yeah. How's working five days in a row on your mental? Uh it was it was rough. You gotta do what you gotta do did to get through it. Did you yell at any did you start losing patience? Yeah, oh, I think I, I think yeah. the day the the <laughs> special right now. the the special was being filmed, I I wasn't the next day you were like you said something about being nice when was you was it Mazda's cra- Oh yeah, sorry. But the day before that, I was like, oh, I don't think it was very nice that day because it just. But it's like, dude, after the second show, I don't give a fuck where you want to sit. Yesterday, a party of fifteen came in. Yeah. Two, three weren't there yet. We're doing them a favor by even seating yeah. them. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, ah, we don't really want to sit here. And I was like, I like went like this to the room. <laughs> oh, like, I do tell you people see anywhere else. There's nowhere else. I tell people, I go that uh, rules. Sometimes oh, people will do that. That's a really good response. Yeah, I like just that. Look. No, this. Yeah, you have to. But if if you everything do that the nice, light touches, <laughs> yeah. ever uh, if you do that nicely, they have no recourse. Yeah. They have nothing. And it changes can. their attitudes too. I was just like, I've been here a long time. I promise these are great seats. I promise you. That's it. I don't even tell them that anymore. People will come in at the end of the line. <laughs> There's four people. I took them to the corner of A in the main room. Literally, that's all I had for that. Or maybe it was like five or six people. Yeah. And I went and I sat him down. The guy was like, "Do you think there's like anything better anywhere else?" And I went, "Hey, man." <laughs> <laughs> Three, I told him, I looked at all of them, I said, 300 people showed up before you, so beggars can't really be ch- choosers, can they? And then I looked at them, and they looked at me, and then I walked away, and they sat down. You know how many times, how much it's taken me to not Sometimes go, like... Sometimes I make a bad crowd, but if you do it late in the show, I love that. I love, like, later in the seating, you can yeah. totally The second that. comic's up, they're like, is there anyone yeah. can go? The, the yeah. problem is when some door guys will do it, like, to the first people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But I saw Joel yeah. using my big secret, the, my big secret move the other night of seating the belly room, where people come in, like, first or second, they're like, we don't want to sit in the thing, and he goes, yeah, yeah well, if you want, you can go back outside, yeah. come back inside here in a little yeah. bit. And yeah, then sorry. I, it is funny to see, like... 
you, people, I see front to back. People, yeah, yeah, I do it for the servers. I say, I'm like, you know, it makes it easier from here to the back. Otherwise, they're scattered. They don't know where the fuck it is. And then people just, I'm like, you got to go outside. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I literally just did my work to you. Jesus. I did yeah. my job at you, and you said you didn't accept. My least favorite of the people, <laughs> they come in, the show's been started. They get there, uh, they immediately want service. Even though they're late, and then they want yeah, to close you, out early. You, you've been yelling if you about don't that get for the like fuck out of my face, right <laughs> like, yeah. stop with that bullshit. There was one guy he wanted to close early like two weeks ago, and he sat down in the hallway. I, I forgot who came and got oh, me. I, I think was it was like, oh, me. It was you. I think so. Yeah, I yeah. was like, tell him to go sit down and leave me alone. And then the guy like called Nelly over, and he gave her a hundred bucks. And then she gave it to me, and I was like, well, yeah, now you can have whatever you want. <laughs> it's the simplest. Give me money, I'll do whatever you want. But yeah. if you're just out there complaining about shit, like just stop. You know what Be you got? You know what you got to hit people hard with is when people come in late and they start giving you like attitude if they're more than 30 minutes late on the website it says after 30 minutes your ticket is void yeah yeah so i tell them i say hey technically i'm not even supposed to let you in but mm. i'm gonna help you out i'm gonna do you a solid i'm gonna get you in the show as a favor to you yeah and yeah people use yeah. straight yeah. <laughs> Dude, I tell them that all good. the time. That's I say, good. I'm doing you the a favor. is perfect, too. I'm doing yeah. you a do favor. As, no, do that as Richie. Oh. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Richie, Richie uh, just would say, get in. Richie would yeah. be like, come in, come in. You, like, you two, <laughs> get up. These are your seats. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, why don't you lay on the green room right there real quick? I love him, yeah. but Richie will kick out his own friends. Oh, yeah. You got to go. Richie would be like, hey, lay on the ground right there real quick. And he'll pick up the podium and he'll just fucking. Richie is always. Richie went up to me one time. I was outside and he came over to me and he almost grabbed me in the shirt. He's like, I want to just hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. No. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, uh, the times I want to tell people, like, should have got here earlier. Like, yeah, people, it's like, you're fucking so late and you're bitching about seats. Like, fucking, I don't know, show up. And then they get there. They're super early, and they bitch about being sat in the front. And you're like, get here well, late. Can, I don't know can, what this is. You can read about. people I, based off of where they are in line. True. The first group of people that comes in. They're the responsible people. Yeah. The longer it or goes, excited. The, or excited. The longer it goes down the line, the more ruffians are afoot. Yeah, it, truly, it's no. like the more when I'm like spieling and I get people like all in the main room lobby. The first, the first, first six or seven announcements go really. First groups yeah. are good, and then after that, I don't. I'm so thorough with the you shit because I'm so tired of fucking tell people like, I didn't even hear when you said don't stand up and uh, piss yeah. on somebody. <laughs> like, I didn't know you weren't allowed to pee yeah. on the comedian. Is this yeah. America? Yeah. 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 I talked about the pee incident last. Literally, people. Oh, did you guys? Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. so fucking. What fun. a fucking oh, idiot! Yeah, okay, by the way, we, we, I yeah. wasn't. I wasn't here for the pee incident, but, but if I it, was, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, well, you would have tasted it. I would have grabbed the guy's dick back. You think you could piss him off? So you. So you <laughs> 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 Richie, yeah, Richie. You think you could pee here? Well, how would you like if someone sucked your penis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, suck him. <laughs> you suck him to completion. You want that? You're, like, <laughs> you're gay. You're gay. You yeah. disrespect me, I disrespect you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. oh my god! You need to respect this establishment. <laughs> it is very interesting to work here. Oh, the P wait, well, you guys oh. did talk about the PNC, right? It was yes. so funny. Oh yeah, it got covered. But you, yeah. Oh. So you give a thorough explanation. Yeah, it did. I like being very thorough. I like answering the most amount of questions in the least amount of words in like a friendly firm way towards the middle camp counselor vibes towards the middle end of the line to, yeah, i refuse to continue unless every single person <laughs> that is, is making looking. eye contact i, I feel that yeah. a shitty substitute teacher yeah but i, was gonna say, I don't give a fuck yeah it's i get effective. pissed and i want to go hey you no, listening? You pay attention. No, you listening? Because like, one of, of you is thing. gonna ask me where the bathroom is. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee it. As they <laughs> yeah. tell them where it is, and as they're walking in, I go, I bet one of you is gonna ask me. <laughs> yeah. I've done that before. Joel's <laughs> gone nuts, dude. He's, dude. he's lost wow. his mind. The bathroom dude. thing wow. fucking I bums me I out. Well, it's crazy because I know you guys say it. I'm just watching people with like wandering around the back looking for it, and I was like, I know they told you. Back yeah. left. I tell them. I've told Bathrooms. Back left and right of the room. Follow the neon sign. Gonna take you exactly where you want to go. And then during the thing, I'll be in the middle of it, and people will just turn and start talking. Be like, hey. Hey, guy in the striped shirt, gotta wait till you. I need you to listen, or I will not continue. Yep. And I'll be like, you are making it harder for everybody it to get in the you. room. That is, and, just, and then they'll be like, what? And I'm like, you. You know what? <laughs> you know what gives me? Uh, yeah, fucking, you know, if you say you, oh because man, it's, I just I can't. Ooh. It's like I if 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 I fucking go over to somebody and they're taking a picture on their phone during the show, and then I'm like, what are you doing? Look. I didn't know. I'll be like, I fucking screamed it in your yeah. face, dude. No, I personally yeah. told yeah. you. That. I was not remember me. You heard, I told you. Or I, will say, I was there. Or I'll go. It's if people do that to me, I'll go. I literally, I'll look at them and almost in a very calm voice, I'll be like, it was the first thing anybody said to you. 
Mm. And that's why I'm so I want every single person to hear everything I have to say. Yeah. And I feel like I have it there. And what I, I'm trying to say is down to I will to say a like science. 80% of the people that come in are lovely. Oh, and, absolutely. Yeah. And For sure. do everything right. Yeah. It's truly. 80% of the people are right on the top 10% and the top bottom 10 the yeah. bottom 10%. Yeah. If somebody comes in and you could tell they're like excited and they like comedy, I'll fucking Those bend over best. backwards Me and, too. Yeah. Yeah. Ass yeah. and make sure that person does whatever. But somebody comes in and they're being a fucking shithead yeah. to me, I'm like, "Oh, dude, I'm going to sit you Outside, want, yeah. <laughs> like you're dead. Do you like saying high poles? Because that's the only seat we have. For you. Yeah, we have a coffin for you to lay in. <laughs> you fucking yeah, and dude. If you, do, if you don't keep, if you fucking, I'm gonna make you talk to Argus. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's like here's the thing for anybody that's listening to this that's never been here. It's like just kindness goes so fucking far. But if you like come in so entitled, I hate you immediately. If you're nice, I will. I I do a lot for people. People that are nice. Oh yeah, I go. People out. that have tickets for the wrong day. Like, oh, if you're it, cool, dude, we'll figure and it out. And even if you're like annoying there, like, and nice, because at least I know you're just excited to be yes. somewhere. You, you're not yeah. like a naturally your dick. You're just like, yeah. oh, but it's just, the cool I did guy work fucking with that. thing. You like, know what I mean? Uh, I, 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 yeah, there was a guy who came up very excited the other day, older kind of uh, dude, and like just whole life story guy in one minute. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> and I just went, shush, shush. and he goes, "Do you have any advice for a guy that's like dude, doing this funny?" And I was like. I started to tell him, and he interrupted, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he finally stopped talking, and I said, so, do you want, and he was like, oh, yeah, and I told him a thing, and then he started talking again, I go, hey, man, I told you, if you don't want to listen, I'll <laughs> yeah. see you later, bro, and he was like, oh, okay, and I was like, yeah, yeah. and he was like, so I just, I was like, done talking. Yeah, I, like I'm done talking with you. Well, if people come in and they're nice and they're like, I don't see their name on the thing. I'm like, can I see your ticket? I'll show you a ticket, and you'll be like, this is a ticket for the Palm Beach, Florida <laughs> Improv. <laughs> and they're like, no. <laughs> is that? Do, can I take an Uber there? Dude, do I have to change God, my parking? Uh, Damn it! And I'm like, you know what? You guys are you guys are nice. Come on in. Two drink minimum milk. Just, 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 just chill out. Chill out. But yeah. so also, <laughs> some people will come in, and it's it would shock you how many times people get to the front of the line, and they are just there is the lights are on, nobody's home type shit, and they're like, <laughs> I'm like, can I see your ticket? And they show me a ticket for like the Laugh Factory, and I'll look at them and I'll be like, Are you crazy? Yeah. And I'll be like, This is for the wrong comedy club, and I'll be like. As they're leaving, I'll be like, hey, but if uh, you change your mind and you want to go to a real comedy club, come on back and I'll help you out. <laughs> I do that to the... I, That's a cool... I do that all the time. And people... And the, everyone in the line loves it. The people who are going are like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the people who are going to the show are like so hyped. They're like, dude, this guy's on... He's fucking yeah, on it. And the people yeah. leaving are like, it's just the guy that works here? Like, yeah. yeah. Funny there was, yeah. Uh, last night was very chill. There was only one yeah. show because the show got canceled. So Ugh, I'm not excited Our about show in the... But uh, there was one lady that just came in with... She had, she was the organizer of the group, and it was a big group, and she had to make sure that everyone was, you know, who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, big Karen in the, energy in the in the teal. Yeah, she was. Yeah, my, yeah. okay. <clears throat> was her whole, was her whole party present? Her whole party was, and it was fine. And she came in like with like energy, and just kept like wanting to do something. And I kept and I, I like I I stopped. And I was like, hey. It's Luke, okay. you're a wall to run into in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want to do something? Yeah. It's okay. I'm the something doer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You stop. You stop. Just it, it stop. It's okay. We got you. But see, for it's a lady okay. like that, though, I feel like she knows and she's She was like, no, with... I'm going. And I go, I know. I know. I feel like she knows she's dealing with a large group of idiots. So she's like, I'll just They were there. all fine. Yeah. They, they were like, of course there's one she or two idiots. She knows people but, you don't. But she was... <laughs> she, she was an idiot leader and yeah. it was like yeah. too much stuff dude yeah. people come in here got a big party they're like so there's two of us now and there's 15 coming later yeah, yeah. I literally just I may as well start <laughs> cracking my knuckles <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. you, be, you become a ninja turtles <laughs> villain <laughs> yeah you fucking we yeah. don't sit in complete <laughs> party they're like well can I go over there and save them and I like may as well boop their nose yeah. and be like nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, I do, on. Yeah. I do like a no Wait at the bottom of the line. I just say no, uh, not no sorry. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's that's like, a I can good tell you one. Where you're yeah, gonna be too, but you got to wait for no. the party to get yeah. here. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh no. Yeah. No. Yeah. They go. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nope. Oh my god! I no. had a girl ask me for food three times the other night. Oh no. This, I'm in the weeds. There's a bunch of separate parties too, so everyone's just. You should take her order. You no. want a hamburger? You know what? <laughs> an orange. That. Yeah, slice. that'd be really funny. Pickles, no pickles. Yeah. Do it if it's not your section. But she was like, "You guys have food." I was like, "No." Then she was like, "Really?" I was like, "No." Then they do the whole drink order. She's like, "Not even chips or anything." I was like, "Miss." 
why would I keep saying no if we did have? Why would something? I lie to you? Yeah, this is just uh, like wasting more of my time. Yeah. It would be great if you took her order and then an hour in, she's like, "I'm waiting for food." I'm and I was like, yeah. "We don't serve I, food." Also, here. I would not I like, be surprised. I like, I, I like asking them what over and over. <laughs> Do you have any food? I'm sorry. What? Do you have any food? What are you? Food. Sorry, wh I'm sorry. Yeah. I just didn't hear you. Comida. What? <laughs> Comida. You look at me? Comida food? What? <laughs> oh yeah, I've done that to like a little. Oh, food? No food. When people are, <laughs> once again, if people are polite, even if they're wrong, I'll usually help them out. Be like, oh, yeah. because if yeah. they're polite, hey. they just don't know. Yeah, if they're, but if they otherwise, they're pushing. <clears throat> when people are fucking dickheads, confident and idiots, then, and then they come to you and they're like, actually, this I'm. May, I'm like starting to do the fucking like the people's elbow warm yeah. up where he rips <laughs> off the sweatband and does like right this here. and then I was like oh, we do not say anything complete parties and like this little shit like that like dude I'm, the war, I'm just like fucking I'm so excited to just smash whatever they have going on because they are it is just a lot of people me I think it was me you and Anthony were talking about it like the, I don't know if there's a lot of other places where adults get a scolded or b put in their place <laughs> yeah. quite as much as here and it's it's not that we're. I don't come into the shift being like, man, yeah. today I'm I can't put wait in their place. to be a. Fart. Oh, I'm happy till it starts. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, let's go. And then once somebody pushes you a little yeah, bit, you're like, sure. oh shit, I'm a, you're about, to, I'm about to rock your world. <laughs> yeah, because I don't places, even want to. Most places when people are dealing with customer service, they usually can get away with what they want oh, to. Oh, but here, as soon as they hear that first no, and they don't understand, there's nothing but no's coming after this. Yeah. And, I, and I'm, so, I'm so, so aware, aware of it. Nobody's now in coming the world, to back you. And up. I went, I like. My dad is a talker, yeah. like loves the joke back and can get away with it most oh, places. <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> oh my! Oh my god! I, and today, I and I love my father so deeply. And today, I went somewhere with him, and he made a joke, like kind of near the elevator, and I stepped away from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I love you. Pick up a phone and you're, you're uh, fake sorry. Phone. What? Uh, no, I, I, I don't even know where I am. I have to leave. Uh, I have to leave right now. Damn. Sorry, I'm feeling ill. Uh, sometimes my, my mom will say like the funniest shit, but she just worries. She's, she's always like, I'm just kidding. And I'm like, mom, you know, that was hilarious. You don't have to say I'm just yeah. kidding. She's always nervous. You like, know I'm a comic, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you know you're describing yourself. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, fuck, you, you know. just described yourself. The apple don't yeah. fall far from the tree. I was going to say, I can't even yeah. see like Joel being angry. It's just like oh, nervous dude. and like... Kind of shifting. When Joel gets angry, like it's more like yeah. it's almost like it's a, a weird sarcast not a weird, but like a sarcastic tone where he's like, Yeah, then d how about you just yeah. take a shit yeah. in my mouth, guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other night I remember like something happened with the show and I was like, I love politics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the guy's like, I just literally want to know where the bathroom hey. is at. Like, What's up, buddy? Whoa. Oh, good. Hi. Quincy Weekly. Quincy cameo, Quincy. What's up, guys? Just saying hi. Yeah, yeah. What's up, yeah. Perfect yeah. cameo. What's up, guys? Enjoy the Doorcast. Yeah. <laughs> Quincy, oh, Quincy, how did Avail, very, how did Avails go cool. today? Dude, honestly, Avails is pretty shitty today. Whoa. Yeah, uh, did you how many uh, times did you talk to Tony called? Baker? I know you text him, but he said he would text back this time. Yeah, he has not text back for like a year. God man. damn. Yeah, for like a year. Yeah, man, that makes sense. I just forget to text back sometimes. Damn, what a man. bummer. <laughs> He's successful. He yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I miss Tony. <clears throat> Tony explains points. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like his hands are kind of dolphins. Man, you you trying to do? I got a text back. <laughs> <laughs> Man, damn, oh. he's yeah. so funny. Yeah, he's one of. The, yeah, I really. Yeah. Um, to bring it down, saw Tony and a bunch of comics at Teddy Ray's funeral on Saturday. Miss you. Yes, yeah, just really miss Teddy. Uh, but that was that was tough. But saw. Uh, thank you. Saw Levi and Nichelle. Uncle at Levi. Uncle Levi. Uncle oh, Levi really? goes, Nephew. You know, it's really good. <laughs> was he just uh, suited and booted? Oh, I mean, yeah, I can't even imagine he, he, Levi's he didn't suit do funerals. Too much. It was, okay. you know, he didn't go too overboard. It was respectful. It was a regular black suit with like a lot of stuff on it. How much did you have to? <laughs> how much did you have to pay Levi to get into the? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, young man? Are you, was, a, you a honestly, comedian? The, pr the price was too high. Oh. The, pr the price was my friend. <laughs> 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 so it was it was too high of a price. I will say. <laughs> uh good. Oh that. my God, man! <laughs> so uh, yeah, saw so, um, 
bunch of people, Chinadu, Keenan Baker, uh, Tony Baker, uh, Slink Johnson was there, the guy who pulled the burner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. But he's like, he's like I'm going to have to come through. I was like, hell yeah. He used to come by Turn Up Tuesdays all the time, man. Two, I turn bet up he Tuesdays did. Were the best shows. <laughs> Those are my favorite fucking, uh, people hated that shift, but I loved that shift. Um, it was, yeah, it was good. Keetra was there. You ha- a lot of people were there. Uh, people you have a Tino. very much a, yeah. like, um, music producer vibe uh whenever because you are especially with <laughs> this the, feels anti-semitic no not anti-Semi- i mean not even anti-semitic but it's just he'll call me have you loved that shift because <laughs> truly he says, he says i look more like scott storage than i actually am like, that's like has the yeah. talent yeah, yeah like, in a way like <laughs> scott that's, like, that's Keith Soul that. <laughs> yeah like the, you have a truly you have a way with uh i think black comedians especially <laughs> Uh, like you, Luke uh, is very much like you have the, very much the energy of like the white guy in the group of. You're like I mean, the skinny nice. guy from Hustle and Flow. <laughs> what was the fucking oh, sure. DJ Falls? DJ yeah, Falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that would be a sick DJ name, by the way. DJ Qualls. Yeah. DJ Qualls would be yeah. a sick DJ name. Um, I love yeah. the new guy. I, I was Great driving movie. over here today, and I don't know if any of you know, any old enough comedy store people, but I'm really like in my Bob Shack phase. Like I think mm. that's what I'm doing, but that means nothing to you. But it'd be funny. I know to, the name. If I anyone... thought you were in your Roger. Roger Rod face. Oh, That's hey, dude, big Roger pull. Rod. Wow, man. I don't know. Yeah, just a white guy who does who kills at the Jay yeah, 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 yeah. I'm more of an honest John type. Uh, so. My <laughs> favorite, uh, my favorite Roger Rod joke. He's like, he comes out and he, uh, Bill Bellamy brings it up. He goes, "Give it up for Bill Bellamy. Uh, that's my n- never mind." <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then he's like, you know, ladies, they're always like, I need a man with at least 10 inches. 10 inches. Ladies, I am folding my shit in half for nobody. <laughs> man, th- that's th- cool. That's great. Yeah, that's White cool. dudes who do specifically urban comedy are like, and rooms, and like, that's their. Can be. Uh, th- it either. is such an yeah. interesting angle. Like, Honest, do you guys know Honest John? Yeah, uh, yeah. Honest yeah. John is like, if you don't know who he is, he's literally just a guy who looks like <laughs> a skinny Santa Claus. He's an old man. Yeah, he wears shirts. overalls and tie dye. Yeah, and yeah. he goes on stage and he's like, <laughs> he looks man. like Ben or Jerry. <laughs> 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 yeah. He looks like Ben and Jerry, Benjamin Jerry. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. The, but, he, lo- <laughs> he, he looks just, like <laughs> Jack Hooper. <laughs> <and Daisy laughs> <Lane>. Yeah, <laughs> but he literally will go on stage and he, it's this is one of his bits where he's like. Man, you can't start. Man, you start smoking weed with different people. Man, and you, you smoke weed with a white guy. He's gonna, he's gonna pass it, pass a blunt, pass it to you. Gonna pass it to me. Gonna pass it back to them. Man, you pass a, bl- a brother a blunt. Brother gonna hold on to that shit till Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Just dist- yeah. like levels yeah. the room because he's an old, yeah. an old man yeah. who's yeah. like, what, what is happening right now, dude? You know who's like that is if you, I mean, and I genuinely am entertained by uh, Darren Carter, who I call Mister Starter. Oh, yeah, the party starter, yeah. Yeah. Rooster, dude, Fresno Zone, Central California, the represent. Rooster, dude, he, his, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he... I like my women like I like my pussy. Yeah. Uh, shaved and stinky. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he, have you seen him do an Armenian room? Oh, oh I, I would love it. It is Bernie Mac. I mean, I don't know oh. if I've said this on the po- like I, I uh, on the podcast before, um, but I'm sorry if I'm repeating. But he is. I mean, he is what is wonderful to Damn. watch. It's just. Just thunder, thunder throughout. Yeah. It's like he knows all the Armenian terms. His wife's uh, Armenian. And he oh, just yeah. like that's awesome. is, my favorites. He's like, like the most honest John. Like you know? late on a Monday night when everyone they've been there I've, for I've like five that, yeah. hours. People are tired. This guy's coming in doing noises. Yeah, dude, flashing he's lights. He's the closest and thing works. we have to Brody right now. I think mm-hmm. for sure. Well, I would love to see him get the late. One time I uh, I brought him up and then after I was like yeah I was like he uh, he used to probably got yelled at a lot by his dad for holding the flashlight while he's working on the car. <laughs> he's like, Darren, God damn it! He's like, like, God damn it, I'm trying to change the goddamn alternator! And I get off stage, he's like, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, can I use that? And I was like, Darren, I will never say that again. I, I, uh, it was the only time. I, and I was like, no, please you can't do have it. Imagine the setup. No, no, no. I was Imagine like, the show setup. Yeah, that you guys joke. know Darren Carter? Yeah. yeah he goes, okay, so there's this guy. Yeah, 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 you have a picture of him. Yeah. yeah. And you have to explain the who rooster, Darren Carter, dude. the the Barty starter. I've yeah. never heard the rooster. That's that's, right. the, he's, that's his thing. He's like, I used to uh, he used to go by the rooster when he used to. He rooster. He's from Fresno. Uh, Bakersfield, Fresno, you know, uh, sister cities, dude. Uh, yeah. So, I, I, you know, every time I see Darren, uh, you know, 
big Central California representing. Uh, <laughs> it's me and him, and uh, that's pretty much it. First, Fury. Fury's not Central California. Yeah, Fury's Saul California. is on the border. Mm. Of, hey, you uh, watch this <laughs> And I wish he didn't come over. No, he's on the border of Northern California and Central Valley. Central Valley is like Bakersfield to just. Well, if you think he's that specific about that border, what do you <laughs> think? <laughs> you think about the real border? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started, buddy. <laughs> um, yeah, it was uh, uh, one more time. Just, yeah, shout out to Teddy Ray and the funeral and everyone there did a really nice job and a really good. Uh, service and it was really touching and uh, touch and go for a minute there. Everyone cried there. It was pretty. It was it was tough. Everyone was. It was a lot of blue flowers. Pretty mm-hmm. cool. That's good. Mm-hmm. What if you were there and Richie came in looking at his phone? <laughs> okay, great. And he goes, "We got to wrap this shit up." <laughs> <the next one." laughs> yeah, because that is our experience. That like we that's something that we hold very dear. He just goes. You're not doing that anymore. (laughs) (laughs) The thing, the 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 the, the reason I admittedly the point that you are here to Uh, be comedians, you're eh, you're not going to do that. We talked about this, like no one's ever had a conversation about this. I talked about it. I never, ever since I started here, I did not want anybody doing comedy. Oh my god, Johnny Zap showed up, and I do you know Johnny? I know the name Johnny Zap. He is an old. A time I texted Rick Ingram about it. He goes, saying, I only never from, die, from, unfortunately. From, uh, yeah. <laughs> from, I only know a lot of people this from the Rick guy, Ingram's impressions. Right. This is the guy he he was like, he came with a cane. He's like, he's like an older white dude. He has a cigarette and he just kind of goes, Hey, and I recognize him. I'm like, hey, John, hey, Johnny. And he comes in, he just like walks into the hallway with the cigarette and goes to the bathroom. <laughs> like, I think, were Where's you and Felicia Mitzi? laughing? No, no. It was something no, it was uh I always there's impressions that Rick Ingram does where he is doing an impression of like Argus, whoever, but he's talking he's like yeah i was down there with john and zap uh kip and donna like, <laughs> yeah james painter james painter yeah. you only know these people and from Steve that disease and you would have never guessed who walked in willie tyler <laughs> and lester <laughs> both of them walked willie tyler walked into the show one night and said god damn it i forgot lester what the hell am i gonna do tonight and uh, willie tyler willie tyler he 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 kept it, stuck to his guns and he went out there and he just oh gave the crowd love and they gave it right back to him and he said you know what i'm never going to use lester again <laughs> uh, we should make a muppet of richie oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. a richie muppet oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> very much it's boxy for it's definitely a boxy guy. yeah it spins great uh, it's eating a chicken taco from yeah. carney <laughs> Richie, dude, did I ever tell you that? Richie went out of his I way one time. Richie, call it soon. He one time sorry, he, he went out of his way and did did get me on the Doug Stanhope show here. Uh, I, did, oh, I talked about that. You talked about this, but, but I mean, whatever. And then he, immediately, I mean, it, it was a very quickly. I went backstage to the th- or Annie Lederman was uh, opening comic, and uh, they were literally Richie was like, "Bruce, you're gonna cold open the show," and I was like, "All right, cool." And then I went up to Annie and I was like, "Hey, am I just bringing you up?" And she was like, "Oh no, he got somebody to open it. I don't think you're doing it." And I was like, "Okay, fine." Mm-hmm. And then Richie, or sound guy, comes down, Anthony, and he goes, "Hey, uh, so you're gonna go up there in like in like five six minutes from now?" And I was like, "Oh no, they got somebody." And he's like, "Well, they they gotta have a door guy on." And I was like, "Yeah, but it's fine, you know." And he's like, well, "I'm gonna talk to Richie." I was like, "I don't know if we need." <laughs> <laughs> So then he goes and tells Richie, saying. Richie, and then you know when you see Richie like trudging up the, uh, <laughs> the hallway, oh the hallway by the uh, Jenner, trudging like up street and shark. out of the back of the room. And he's like, what, what, are you, what, are you talk, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And I was like, they, they got somebody. I'm just, <laughs> they got somebody. It, it's fine. He's like, don't guy needs to be on the show. And I was like, I I like that sentiment and I agree with that sentiment, but I don't. And he's like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna talk to his manager. And so I see, okay, I see now, Anthony. The guy, they're all wearing like the clown ties. I see yeah. Anthony go, uh, you can tell Drinkwater go get his uniform. manager, and then they, I, I'm in the kitchen, and they go into Richie's office, and I don't hear anything, but it may as well be like Looney Tunes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> slamming yeah. around yeah. in the office. Big hat. And one of, them, one of them walks out with like an ice pack on his head, basically. And Richie comes out, Birds and he goes, flying around. all right, yeah. three minutes on the show. <laughs> and I was like, great. So I go into the green room, and I'm like, hey, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I, I, they're making me do comedy. <laughs> all happened, they're making me do comedy. You. And yeah. then I get off, and Richie was like, how was it? And I was like, it went really well. Like, Doug was really nice and stuff. And he goes, all right, cool. And he goes, hey, where you at tonight? And I forget. I was like, in a, I was like, I'm in the main room doing that. He's like, all right. Pulls out his wallet, gives me his credit card. And he goes, 
go down to Connie's, give me two chicken, two chicken tacos, <laughs> and get get something for yourself too. And it's like, so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool. It's such a mafia mentality yeah. bullshit where it's like, if he hooks yeah. you up, he immediately is you like, a favor, Bruce. Yeah, change the tires on my car yeah. tomorrow. Right yeah. 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 Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, one p.m. The parking lot here. Do not. Clock in. Like, <laughs> Richard just, right. he just comes out the office. <laughs> oh my god, dude! He comes out the office after talking to stand up. He's like, "There's one thing I care about: Stormen doing comedy." Yeah, <laughs> that's, like, that's the worst. The worst thing. Every that is every, every, every care about my whole life. Stormen got to do comedy. <laughs> Ever since I started here, I said, "If one thing happens that I care about, door guys doing comedy." Oh, the thirty seconds later, I never wanted door guys doing comedy. Oh. Somebody scratched my car last week in the parking lot at uh, Pink Dot, and I come back. I was like, "Oh, piss!" Richard's like, "What's wrong?" I was like, "Someone's." Crash for cars. He's like, I oh, don't worry about it. We'll take it my mechanic tomorrow. Yeah, so we go over go. there. Oh, yeah. I go to his mechanic. Do you I pick s- Richie up or does he meet no, you? No, he met me there. He was like 15 minutes late, whatever. Yeah, this <laughs> is uh, very interesting. I get there. I know it, this is. It's Richie. The guy's like, oh, yeah, I've known Richie for like 30 years. He is just a Cape Verdean version of Richie. <laughs> same exact height, same exact build. They're just giggling about shit they did like 30 years ago. You walk in, Richie's choking him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're choking each other. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He calls Richie T Bone. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah that, I've, heard, I've heard about T Bone. Uh, so T Bone <laughs> is the big reveal. Yeah, you don't know I'm T Bone. <laughs> and he did say, I was like, I heard about T Bone. He goes, Oh yeah, that's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's like, what? Well, yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm fucking T Bone. Rich cut to him beating the shit out of the, the other guy ever for T Bone ever. Awesome. One, Just of the, awesome. one of the one of the hardest I've ever laughed in my entire life over a text message was in the group chat. Somebody was like Richie, whatever one. It's one of those days where everyone's like fucked. Everyone's like in a bad mood, but like whatever. And they're like, we can't fucking fuck. Can't do anything. We fucking blah blah blah. All this. And then someone's like, yeah. The other night, Richie said this, that, and the other thing about you know all door guys are getting fired. And they're like, but I don't know because thirty seconds later, he said he could make any woman squirt if they just relaxed. I know, what, I life. know what it was. He was telling somebody that a jacket they had over their uniform wasn't in yes. the hand. Yes. 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 It was against company guidelines. Yes. And he's like, oh I think, I think yes. this is yes. covered yes. also. So yeah. funny. Yeah. Uh, so you loved that. Yeah, well, the best part of that, she was like, that's inappropriate. Maybe you could teach me something else. I was like, he could probably teach you how to fight. I swear to God, he goes for like five minutes on, on how, how to fight. fight. Yeah. yeah, good. He's uh, like, if it's two guys, you gotta punch the bigger one in the face and you just look at the other guy and he's gonna run away. <laughs> and you just beat the shit out of the big guy. I was like, all right, Rich. That's really good. Uh, thank you guys for being on. Uh, it was a very eventful doorcast. Thank you for bringing the Lucy Brucey. It was really nice. No problem, dude. Um, where can people find you online? Uh, at Bruce Gray, Bag Fries Podcast, just raging success. Gray uh, with an E or an A? With an A, dude. Don't insult me. Great. Uh, just big shit popping, dude. I'm blowing up. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm so blowing great, up, dude. Man. Yeah. You know, wow. I'm just shit. Shit's everything that has nothing to do with here is great. That's why you have sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sunglasses. I'm on Quaaludes right now. <laughs> Wow. Got here in a you're limo. The, oh, you're the, yeah. Richie yeah, wow. knows a guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Morgan. Hey, you want Quaaludes? Uh, they're still, you, they're still yeah. around. Yeah. Backstrike Pod, very funny podcast. Uh, Morgan. Uh, you can find me at handsome underscore Morgan on Instagram and less is Morgan on Twitter. Also, the Big Humble Podcast. Your Twitter's fun and very casual. Yeah, I got I to gotta get back on there. But football season's coming up, so. So, yeah, yeah you tweet be, uh, silly uh, yeah. game alert. Silly That's games. like it's twice oh, a yeah. day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. My Twitter sucks ass Sundays and I'm happy with it. Yeah. I just mostly tweet, like, if something big happens, I'll be like, yeah, the Supreme Court fucking, um... Joel, where can shit. people find you on that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you too hard. I had to cut you off one time this episode. <laughs> Even crushing too hard. At uh, at mostly sorry. Also hosting potluck tonight. I'm pretty excited. I know it's like uh, you know small slim small potatoes, but to me it means a lot. It's no, pretty. It's, it's, big potatoes, bro. it's slim potatoes, but it's nice. Yeah, but it's it means a lot to me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, I never wanted potluck. So I never wanted. When is this coming out? Is this coming out today or tomorrow? Okay, yeah. So yeah. you could conceivably come down and see the end of. Also, Joel, I'll do it for Joel. Listen. Uh, go listen to the Mad Decent album, right? Oh, Mad Peaceful. Mad Peaceful. Sorry, Mad Decent. Mad, Mad Decent something. Yes. Mad Peaceful. Yeah. Mad Sorry. Peaceful. It's That's a hardcore a band I'm in with uh, Chroma Chris, Chappelle Lacey, Chase, uh, Chase Crimsley. I don't know his last name and Ryan Clark. Yeah, <laughs> Chase Crimsley. His his Instagram is Chess Crim Crimsley. Whatever. So it's All a right. fake. Name. I love you guys. Yeah, yeah. Mad Peaceful. Uh, I'm at Luke Does Stuff, and you could maybe see us on Wednesdays if our show comes back. And don't uh, come. <laughs> <laughs> tip at the door. Shout us out. Shout out the doorcast, and we will definitely. Or if you even tip at the door, maybe someone will just write your name down. Uh, Jack Hooper, fake name. Uh, 
Shout out Tony in the booth. Shout out Gino from Speedweed. I forgot about him. He always dropping stuff by. Yeah, and yeah. the guys from Absolute Ex- Extra. Yeah. The, night, the night before Farmer I went to Portland, Portland, they gave me four weed pens and like a half ounce of weed. Yeah. And I was like, cool. And uh, you definitely didn't fly with it. Yeah, you uh, did. You're allowed Thanks, to. everybody. Uh, <laughs> you know Richie's going to shut this down after he hears this episode. You think Richie's yeah. going to the last one? You think he's yeah, going to listen to this podcast? podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never wanted a podcast studio. <laughs> See you next week. Hell yeah. Bye.